Hey everybody, Matt here. Today we're going to start a new series of videos about a new saw I just got. This one's made by Rockwell and it's called the Blade Runner. Okay, what you get in the box is the saw itself and then you get a support arm, let's call it. We'll talk about this a little bit more. Get a couple of bolts and a couple of knobs to secure the arm to the saw. Get an instruction booklet. You do get a fence. You get a miter gauge. You get a handful of blades to get you started. And you get a little adapter to, to uh, connect a uh, shop vac hose to the saw. Okay, so in order to install the arm into the saw, you take a couple of the bolts that come with the unit, slip them in here, turn the saw over on its side, the actual support arm goes right in that block. Push the bolts through the holes. And then install the knobs on these two bolts. Don't need any tools. All right. That's it. Okay, the purpose of the arm is to help stabilize the blade, specifically the top of the blade, by using a couple of bearings. So let me raise the arm and then I'll zoom in and show you. All right, here are the bearings. Here's a blade. So the top of the blade slides right in between the bearings and these bearings help to keep the top of the blade from wobbling around too much. If the blade wobbles around too much it's going to be difficult to make a good cut. So these bearings help to keep the blade a little bit more stable which helps us make a better cut. Okay to install a blade what you do is press this red button and slide to the left. Take your blade, insert it into the machine, release the red button, and now the blade is captured. To remove the blade, press the red button, slide to the left, and then you can pull the blade out. So let me install the blade again, and this time I won't even hold on to the blade and you'll see that it literally pops right out. Alright, let's take a closer look at the mechanism that actually holds the blade. So we're going to remove this little plastic cover and we're going to zoom in. And now I hope you can see this little slot right here. Watch what happens to the slot when I press the red button and slide to the left. Then that slot rotates. So to insert a blade, press the red button, slide to the left, that slot moves over, insert the blade, release the red button, and now the blade is captured. And of course, vice versa, to remove the blade, press the 
red button, slide to the left, pull the blade out, release the red button, and that's it. This is one of the slickest features about this saw. It's very, very easy to change blades. All right, let's install a blade and we'll make a couple of cuts. So I've got my blade here, press the red button, slide to the left, insert the blade, there you go. I'm gonna drop the arm down and then I'm gonna tighten the knob in the back. That keeps the arm from riding up. Now I'm going to choose a piece of wood I want to cut. For this first cut, we're just going to take a quarter inch piece of MDF. So what we do is raise this, drop it down on our piece that we're going to cut, tighten the knob. That basically sets the height. Okay. Now we turn on the machine and make a cut. That's it, pretty simple. Okay, before I go much further, I'd like to go over a few of the features on this saw. Uh, we already mentioned the bearings at the top of the, in the arm that help support the top of the saw blade. Helps you to stabilize the blade, allowing you to make a better cut. Underneath the saw are these fairly grippy feet. So when you place the saw down on a tabletop, it's pretty stable. It doesn't want to slide around. In addition, there's this little wire piece that unfolds. And you can use that to catch the edge of your table. And that helps to prevent the saw from moving that way as you push the work through the blade. As you can see, the saw is very light, and it even has a handle, so it is very portable. In the front of the unit, there is a small compartment that you can store some extra blades in. In the on-off switch, there is a child-proof key that you can remove. So with that key removed, you can't turn the unit on. Just snaps in and out. The unit comes with a fence. So the fence slides into these slots. And you tighten it down with these knobs. You use the fence to slide your workpiece along the edge here to make a nice straight cut. In addition, you also get a miter gauge. It fits in the track. It is adjustable. So you can cut square to the blade or you can cut at whatever angle you adjust it to. There's also an adapter for a shop vac or a vacuum. slides in here, rotate it, and it's locked in place, so it's not going to un unplug itself. The unit also comes with a handful of blades. There's two wood blades, one's installed. Here's the second wood blade. Comes with a metal cutting blade and a ceramic cutting blade. 
One thing that you can't do with this saw is tilt the blade. The blade is always perpendicular to the table. There isn't any way to angle the blade. So that covers the features on the saw. We already discussed how easy it is to change blades. Oh, and one last thing. There are a couple of mounting holes for bolts. So if you want to bolt the saw down to a stand, you can use these holes to do that with. There's one on that side, one on this side. The power cord is about six feet long. Can't remember if I mentioned that or not. All right, here's another nice feature of the saw. There is a way to store the fence right on the table. There's a couple of slots right here. You just take the fence, slide it into the slots, tighten the knobs, and now the fence is nicely stored right on the table. You can also store the miter gauge right underneath the tabletop. You just take your miter gauge, Loosen the knob, swivel it like this, and then slide it right into this slot right there. That's it. The saw also sits very nicely right on its side. Here you see the miter gauge is stored, the fence is stored, both knobs are tight, and the handle is up. I'd just like to make a couple of comments regarding safety. This is a power tool, it's a cutting tool, so you want to use it safely. One of the things you should do every time you're using this tool is wear some form of eye protection, safety glasses. Here's an example. You should also wear some kind of a mask to protect yourself from the dust. Here's an example of a typical dust mask. And you might consider wearing some form of hearing protection. Now, in my opinion, the saw makes a little bit more noise or sound when compared to a standard household vacuum cleaner. So, in my opinion, it's not too bad. And lastly, as with all power tools, you should read and understand the instructions and the safety guidelines that the manufacturer describes in their instruction book. This is a great tool. Use it safely. All right, thanks for watching. I hope that was useful. If it was, I hope you'll consider giving the video a thumbs up and perhaps even subscribing to the channel. If you'd like some more information about the saw, look in the description area for the video and there you'll find a link that you can click on that will bring you to some more information. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear back from you. Please leave them below. I think that just about covers it for now. We'll see you soon.